There's a book that sits on my bookshelf that is unlike any other. It invites people to go out and learn about the world in order to better make sense of what was written in it and in order to prove its own authenticity beyond a shadow of a doubt. In fact, the book encourages its readers to read, learn, ponder and question things, so much so that the first word revealed from the book was read. But it doesn't stop there. The book goes on to challenge its readers, especially the scientists and scholars among them, with statements such as, we will show them our signs in the universe and in their own selves until it becomes manifest to them that this is the truth. The author of this book gives us the total freedom to either believe or disbelieve in what he wrote. But at the same time, the author tells us that he also has the freedom to determine our fate after death with either eternal happiness in paradise or an eternal painful punishment in hell. There is no third option. The author swears that indeed what is written inside this book is very serious and is not a joke. But the amazing part is that the author swears by two phenomena that at the time the book was revealed, 1400 years ago, were completely unknown to man in any way. The quote is as follows, by the sky which has the bounce, by the earth which has the crack. Indeed what is written inside the book is very serious and it's not in jest. Do you know what these two phenomena are? I will tell you. Simply put, when space is stretched out, it bounces, while when the Earth is stretched out, it cracks. How is this possible? How could a book revealed so long ago, before the advent of basic modern tools and technologies, contain such accurate information about scientific phenomena? There is only one explanation for such a thing. The author of the book is the creator of the universe. The book was written by God himself. Do you know the book that I'm talking of? It's called the Holy Quran and is such an impressive book that it would forever change the course of the world. The Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad over the course of 23 years in the 6th century. It was a miracle back then and remains a miracle to this day. Though the Prophet Muhammad received the revelation and transmitted it to the people, he did not have any part in writing it. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad was illiterate. He never learned to read or write.